I'm about 20 minutes from the trailhead right now. This is gonna be my final shakedown before I leave for California next week, as crazy as that sounds. So today is Sunday. I get on a plane next Wednesday and then I'll be starting the trail on Friday, April 5th. So not even not even two weeks. But the main thing I'm, I'm trying to confirm on this trip is just that my kit is good to go. The bag that I packed this morning on my way out here is probably 98% exactly how it will look uh, when I leave next week. That's why I'm going out on this hike. My legs, I, my legs are gonna be fine. I wanna just confirm that all my gear is good to go, which I know that it is, but you know, you can never, never get too many reps in. So yeah, this will be my second to last video before the trail. It'll be this one, and then when I get home, I plan to do a full, full loadout video break everything down that'll be in my pack and everything that I'm wearing one last time. And then after that, it's gonna be everything from the trail. My goal is to shoot um, probably five or six days at a time and upload about once a week, depending on, on what the town situation looks like and what the uh, you know Wi-Fi service, how long I'm spending there, stuff like that. But about once a week, I'm planning to do a full length video and then maybe a couple shorts here and there. As you can probably see, the sun is starting to set behind me. It's actually been a gorgeous night out here, but technically there's about an hour left until the sun sets. But over in these hills and valleys, as soon as the sun dips down below one of these hills, it gets pretty dark pretty quick. So I'm only a few miles in. I got here a lot later than I would have liked, but the next semi-decent campsite I see, I'm gonna get set up. Catch back up in a few minutes once I figure out where I'm going to be staying the night. Found a decent little spot here. Only problem is the road is right here somewhere and the trail is right behind me. So, oh well, I haven't seen anyone else hiking. I saw one couple set up camping um, and these forest roads are totally jacked up so I'd be surprised if anyone's driving up them but whatever it is what it is the sun's getting low in the sky I gotta get set up and get some dinner on me I'm starting to get real hungry so let's go ahead and do that that's the sun right there that's the sun and it's about to fall right behind the trees but I just finished getting set up pretty uh pretty efficient pitch I was happy with how that setup went anyways it's getting chilly I'm um, not going to put my jacket on quite yet, but I'm going to get some dinner going, get some warm in me, get some water. Turn in pretty early. Anyways, perfect night, beautiful night. And yeah, let's, uh, let's get some dinner cooking. Got the water going right now. It looks like it's just about done. Night for dinner. Idahoan loaded baked mashed potatoes. Supplemented by some of these cattleman cuts. Uh, beef sticks from the gas station. And then finally is Starkist Smart Bowl. I've never uh, tried before, but saw it and picked it up. That will be my dinner. It's a little bit chilly out here. My first bite, literally, I could feel the warmth running all the way down into my stomach. So this is great. I'm gonna set my alarm for 6.30 and um, get some breakfast, try and get packed up and get out of here by 7.30 or eight. And then just walk all day until the sun goes down so probably probably good 10 hours of actual walking but I'm not gonna push the pace too much I'm not gonna do too much mileage um, I mean I'll do a fair amount but I'm not gonna do anything crazy I'm gonna listen to uh, to a podcast and and doze off even though it's only it's probably not even nine o'clock yet but oh well I took my time a little bit getting out of getting out of camp today made uh, grits for breakfast and coffee, which I never do. I'm not a big coffee drinker. I never drink coffee at home, but something hot sounded good this morning. So I did that, but <laughs> I have decided that when I get on trail, I'm not gonna be cooking 
or heating up water or anything in the morning. It just takes too much time for me out of the morning cleanup, which is probably the worst part of the day to begin with. Okay, back to hiking. Taking a little lunch break and tending to my feet. <clears throat> my legs feel fine, but I'm starting to get a couple of blisters or hot spots on one of my feet, which is pretty annoying. But I got my uh, socks off, letting the dogs air out a little bit, and then uh, also got the first aid kit out. So once I'm done eating here, I'll tend to my feet, clean them off a little bit, tape them up, <clears throat> put a band aid on the one toe, and hopefully that'll be good enough. These rocks right behind me, this is actually where I stayed last time I came here. So everything up until this point has been new trail, but now it's looking familiar. And I'm only a few miles from the trailhead. Um, it's not gonna end my day, but I'll pass by the car, make sure the car's fine, and then keep it going. I just stopped back at the trailhead where my car is. Took a break for a second, ate some more food, drank some water, took my shoes off. Upon further inspection, my, my feet are starting to get decently jacked up. It's not just hot spots, it's um, a few different blisters. So I took care of that, taped them back up, put some clean socks on, cleaner socks on and uh, back on the trail now, but I am gonna cut the rest of the day a little bit short. I'm going to do a few more miles. Uh, I saw a couple campsites early on yesterday. If no one's there, I'll, I'll take one of those and then uh, set up camp a little bit early. I'll enjoy myself just hanging out tonight. All right, got the bed all set up. Sun is just starting to go down below that ridge. Quilt, Xtherm, foam pad, pillow. And literally just as I was finishing this, I noticed this. Someone, whoever was here last, made a bow and arrow out of paracord and a stick. Pretty interesting. Okay, I finished dinner. I had a lemon pepper chicken packet and a lot of trail mix and some candy and some water. And I'm good, I'm good for the night. The sun just dropped below the hill behind me and it'll be dark here in the next probably 15 or 20 minutes. It's only 7.52 p.m. Um, so I'm just getting packed up, getting everything cleaned up, squared away, and then I'm gonna go to bed. Hopefully I'll be asleep by 8.30 or so, and uh, that way I can wake up early. I only have a couple miles back to the trailhead, back to my car, um, if that. So it should be an early morning. I wanna get on the road early and get home because I have things to do tomorrow, but this has been 
a lovely weekend to do this. It's 6.45 in the morning. I got out of camp about 6.30, and if you couldn't tell, it is raining pretty good. I heard uh, a few raindrops around 5.15, 5.30, and then right about 6 o'clock, I heard a lot more rain, so I just packed up a little bit early and uh, got moving. But it was nice because I was able to pack everything up in my tent staying dry waterproof everything before I even stepped out and again this umbrella is the bomb super glad I picked this thing up yes I have a rain jacket but it just keeps you more dry keeps your hands dry keeps your pack a little bit more dry it's just great you can probably barely see it but the sun's starting to come up over there and the sky is it's like pink and purple and blue Super cool. Made it back to the car. Of course, it just uh, basically stopped raining. Still a little sprinkle, but nothing serious. And this uh, cemetery here, St. Patrick's Cemetery here at the trailhead, it's just a very peaceful place in the morning. <laughs> just a little bit of twilight. And uh, I think I'm going to wander around it for a little bit and then go get something to eat and drink and drive uh, three and a half hours home. But appreciate you guys watching. And in the next couple days, expect to see a full gear list, everything that I'm gonna be bringing the trail with me next week. Feel free to check out some of my other videos here and here. All right, thanks guys.